Attention parents of daughters, one out of every four girls in this country has been given at least one shot of a vaccine to prevent cervical cancer. But should parents be worried about the health risks? Our own Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here with the results of an alarming new study. Good morning. Good morning, Maggie. A vaccine for four types of HPV was approved in 2006 in the hope it would save thousands of lives. But now there are some big questions about its safety. Three weeks after Amanda Ratner received the HPV vaccine, she experienced pain at the injection site and fell ill. She's gone from the position of being a competitive varsity lacrosse player in high school to somebody who's chronically ill. Amanda now lives with an autoimmune disease, and although there is no proven link, her parents and doctors blame the vaccine. Like all vaccines, this one does present some risks, but according to new findings out in the Journal of the American Medical Association, the vaccine is relatively safe. There were over 12,000 reports of side effects after 23 million doses were given. 94% of these problems were minor, but 6% were serious, including patients who were hospitalized, permanently disabled, or who died. Merck says after reviewing the new report of adverse events, it continues to be confident in the safety of the this vaccine. I want her to be one less woman affected by cervical cancer. One less. But critics question the vaccine maker's aggressive ad campaign, saying it is misleading. With our pap smear screening program, you have a very low chance of having cervical cancer. So being one less means nothing because you weren't going to be one to begin with. The CDC and FDA continue to recommend the vaccine, and doctors say they'll look at it on a case-by-case -case basis. I would absolutely continue to offer the vaccine. I would say that I am now alerted to other uh, risk factors and would discuss those with the patient. This is not a black or white issue, and like all medical decisions, both the benefits and the risks should be considered, Maggie. You're the mother of a daughter, you're a gynecologist. What are your reservations about the vaccine? I have a, several, but the biggest one, Maggie, has to do with the way women are treated by gynecologists right now when they have an abnormal pap smear. This vaccine does not mean that they'll never have an abnormal pap smear. So if you and I both go to our gynecologist, you've been vaccinated and I haven't, and we have the same abnormal pap smear, the gynecologist still has to do the biopsies and possibly the surgery, even if we've been vaccinated. And until they change those guidelines, the benefits really are more theoretical. So you have to treat people who've been vaccinated and people who haven't the same exact way, equally aggressively. That's right. Doesn't seem to make sense. Thanks, doctor.